how to design in a dipole antenna for operating frequency 0.85 gigahertz after that we will add sweep in the parameter of result and we will see how we can shift the band to adjacent frequencies first of all add some parameter that we are going to use in a project if you don't know how to add the parameter how to add the sweep you can check out the cst basic tutorial series where i have explained add these values the length of dipole radius of dipole is 3 mm gap of dipole similarly the impedance matching value after doing this you have to create a cylinder with this parameter or this much radius and length along z axis after that you have to create another cylinder in order to create the gap between the two arms of this dipole the values add these parameter add for a gap along z axis and radius is that much after doing this you have to subtract the gap from a dipole and after that to assign a discrete port we will pick the circle center of this dipole of this dipole arm and similarly the another dipole arm you have to pick this also after doing this you have to add discrete port add parameter z here because the impedance value of z we have 70 or add the value 70 here and press apply in this way the port will be assigned and add the frequency range from 0 to 2 add the frequency range because we are operating from 0.85 gigahertz you have to add point point 75 gigahertz to 0.95 gigahertz you have to create this range and press on okay after doing this add monitoring field e field and far field and after that you have to start analyzing the project i have done so so check the result the turn loss of this design here you can see that at minus 10 db this is our band of operating frequency now similarly you can add the sweep in the given result starting range to end range and analyze this you will observe these sweep sweep shifted bands at different frequency from result you can also select 
the value and you can observe how the bands are shifting on adjacent frequencies from 0.85 to 0.9 and 0.8 by increasing or decreasing the length parameter of this dipole. Similarly, you can check for M input MP dash matching. You will observe a good matching or bad matching band operating frequency band. Similarly, you can change the gap in sweep. You can assign the sweep to a radius of this dipole, and you will observe the how the bands are getting shifting, and you can also design a new antenna with new parameter for some specific frequency i have described and demonstrate in in dipole antenna series you can check on my channel where i have explained how to select the length radius for a particular frequency operating of dipole antenna and best impedance matching value and basic concept how the dipole antenna work for half wavelength for full wavelength for two two time of wavelength